I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Nigga, how you smoke weed, nigga? Well, we got it by the peas, nigga. This shit a breeze, nigga. I can do this shit with ease, nigga. Like, fuck you, man, nigga. We got scopes, we got beams, nigga. Back at it, you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with the latest content. RiceGang.myshopify.com. Log on. Um, I hope all is well out there. I know everybody's going through the whole quarantine and all of that, staying inside. I hope y'all are staying inside. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. Um, RiceGang.myshopify.com. Log on for the merchandise. I'm actually about to do this, then head to the post office to send out a bunch of orders that came through. But uh, put me up about, about 15 minutes on here. Man, I got a couple things I need to speak about. Three things in general. One, John John and Don vs. DNA going down tonight on IG Live to the ARP Rare Breed Entertainment Quarantine Social Distancing card. I think both are two, two prominent subjects and some other stuff that I want to get into. So, um, John John and Don and DNA is going down tonight. They um, have been promoting it pretty well. Uh, if you would like to see that battle, you have to go on the Instagrams. Uh, it's four, there are four instructions to that battle. Cash app $10 to the PG Killers. Dollar sign PG Killers. Follow at Hood of Brothers on Instagram. No, step number three is DM payment confirmation to the Hood of Brothers on Instagram. And four is enjoy the show. It is a one round battle and it says going down at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. I do respect these guys in the um, whole state of quarantine for trying to keep things going, trying to keep battle rap moving, having these battles amongst each other, and then, you know, URL is doing their quarantine thing, and now John, John, and Don, and DNA are doing their thing. I, this is a battle that I personally would have loved to see on a big stage, and they probably will do it in the future. Hopefully they do it in the future. You know, I never, you never know, you know what I'm saying? I, um, there's a lot of other people, like I said, that are doing their um, battles quarantine style or you know, while all this is going on, to try to keep the culture moving. I think um, in this one, DNA is a impeccable freestyler. You know there's going to be current events. This is what he does. Um, maybe John John comes with some fire. And John John's really hard to beat right now. I mean, going into this, I really don't got no, I don't got no picks, man. It's a one-round battle. Uh, DNA could freestyle for days. John John and Don. Like I said, this the, the only robbery in this is that it's not happening on a big stage. I would have loved to see this happen on a big stage. And they've been around so long that you would have thought that this would have actually happened already. I would have thought that this happened already. But it hasn't. But it's going down tonight. I will be watching it. Uh, I mean, I'll probably comment on it. My thoughts or whatever the case may be after it happens. Not like directly, but in the next day or so. You know what I'm saying? Unless they blow the roof off the building and it's super crazy. Then, you know, we we'll have to jump back in here. But, uh. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely see how that goes. Uh, uh, salute to NWX. Uh, salute to John John and Don. Speaking of NWX, official. Salute to official. She was clowning New Jersey Twerk uh, for, I don't know, I guess he had an online battle that he didn't show up to, whatever. It's, it's nasty out here. Uh, all I'm going to say in regards to this is you guys out there, you know, there's a lot of people that are offering fans to battle their favorite battle rappers in the whole quarantine state. No, sir. Not me. Uh, just know where you're spending your bread. That's all I'm saying. Just make sure you're spending your bread in the right places with the right people. Because I will say that in the merchandise game, like dealing with merchandise, when you're selling a lot of merchandise, a lot of money comes in quick. And then sometimes people will get all of the money and not want to send the stuff. Or, you know, when you're doing this whole one round battles and people are paying you, people get ran off on. And if somebody has a history of running off on people, you might want to. You know, be be a little cautious of where you're spending your money. She said, uh, it came from DME Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Salute to him and everything that he does. Uh, check his channel out if you haven't, you know what I'm saying? He has a lot of blogs and things too. DME Detroit said, Twerk got paid $200 to battle on EBL Discord at 8 p.m. and no show and is ignoring the message. Do the right thing and send them the money back. You wasted a lot of people's time. And I guess they put the little cash app or whatever the case may be. The cash app, cash app or what? The money, I don't, like I said, I didn't get the money and I didn't send the money. I wouldn't send money to battle. But uh, 
The official retweeted it and said, this nigga twerk said I get paid in pennies, LOL, while he out here making negative. Sheesh. Sheesh. Got the deposit and put, hit the do not disturb, press down on the half moon clip. Do not press down on the half moon, do not disturb. Uh, yeah, so that's nasty out here. If that is what's going on out here, uh, make sure that y'all y'all spending your money in the right places. And I know a lot of people wouldn't speak on this. I don't even want to like speaking on this type of shit, but it is what it is. I mean, you guys are fans out here, and if it wasn't happening, we wouldn't be speaking about it. So it is what it is. But salute to official and everything that she does, and um, hopefully that, 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 that situation gets straightened out, because that's nasty. But uh, RBE presents social distance on-site battles. One round is ARP has come out with an innovative way to promote and have battles continue while the whole quarantine thing is going on, you know what I'm saying? He's put together 14 or 15 battles. He said he's putting. He said he wouldn't mind putting together 20, 25 battles. He even asked me to battle. Me personally, I'm good on battling. I don't want to battle. I have no intentions on battle, and that's just my thing. You know what I'm saying? I like doing what I'm doing in front of the camera. You know what I'm saying? I definitely. I, this is this is what I. This is my lane. This is like what I like to do. You know what I'm saying? I know that y'all want the bars and all of that, but um, I, I'm just good on it. I don't want to rap. But uh. RBE presents, but I definitely appreciate the opportunity. But uh, RBE presents social distance on site one round battles. 14, but now 15. COVID 19 pandemic brick by brick quarantine releases start Monday, April 6 at 8 o'clock. He's got battles such as Ill Will vs. T Rex. You know, y'all know they were supposed to battle before, and then um, I think Rex got hit by a parked car or some shit like that. I don't know what happened, but it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? So I guess they done went from a real battle to a one round battle, whatever the case is. I would've preferred, this is another battle I would've preferred to see face to face, but it is what it is. Uh, Big K versus Floss the Boss. I asked about this, I told uh, ARP, I said, well, what, what, why is Big K after coming off of uh, parking Adi Boom battling a Floss the Boss? No, 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 I'm not, I try and knock Floss the Boss, but I just didn't feel like he had got there. But Big, they said Big K, uh, that's what he wanted. That's the battle that he wanted, so that's the battle he's gonna take. Low management. Low management. Head Ice versus Show Off. I like that. I like what Show Off did versus Mac Myron. Head Ice is always a good show. Um, Swave 7 versus Clean Paper. I did ask. Trust me. I asked. Was Clean Paper going to no show an online battle? Is Clean Paper going to no show an online battle? I will hope not. I, I hope I will hope not. But uh, ARP said he got the footage. He said that Clean Paper did show up. So I, I will give you a round of applause for um, doing what you're supposed to do. Um, I did see Calico talk about Clean Paper the other day. He gives a lot of love, admiration, and props to Clean Paper. And he says Clean Paper would be one of the most, you know, transcending, innovative, original battle rappers ever. But his motivation just ain't there because his, his career and what he does doesn't really deal with battle rap a lot. He's really heavy into the streets. And when I met Clean Paper, he had that vibe. And he's always been a genuine dude. But I see, like, sometimes what comes along with being famous, not famous, but you know, notable. I will say notable. In battle rap, you're more so notable. Like you have notoriety. When you go to places that have any that look like you, you more than likely you're gonna run into somebody that knows you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everywhere you go, like you're in the barbershop, you're in the mall, you're in Walmart, everywhere you go, you're gonna see some running. I run into people that know me every single day. I run into people. Um, but not now, you ain't going outside of quarantine. But to make a long story short, is that uh he Claire Calico is basically saying Clean Paper don't be having the motivation to write or to show up because he's not getting paid up front. A lot of leagues is not trusting him with deposits no more because he was running off too. So, um, Sharon versus Three Hymns. That's interesting. Danny Myers versus Jay Murder. Oops versus Rosenberg Raw. Chef Trez versus Heavy Half and Chef Trez versus Quantum Physics. Chef Trez has two battles on this card. Um, I think him and Quantum Physics is going to be fire because Quantum Physics is really, really nice. There won't be, won't be no rebuttals. Won't be no rebuttals because it's one round, you know what I'm saying? And they don't battle each other face to face. It's like they put their videos together. Loso versus Snake Eyes. Uh, that's a cool battle. I like I like what Loso does. I like what Snake Eyes does. I don't really know how that's going to work as far as with Loso and what he's got going on. Because I know the league that he's on don't be really liking when people go across the street. Hopefully we do see Loso continuing on, on both leagues. Because he's been doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to see somebody's legs get cut from under them for just battling on a one round. Um, a one round quarantine battle. But I could hear it right now. I, I know how it goes. 
yo, you're going to take that, yo, you need to let that go. Why are you taking that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, 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 you know what I mean? You, you taking a battle over there, yo, yo, yo. We, we was going to put you on Summer Madness headlining versus Goods if you take that battle, even though we wasn't going to put you on Summer Madness at all. But if you take that battle, we're not putting you on there, so I know the pressure. Um, but salute to him. Scotty vs. Boy, I like that. Uh, Blue Cocaine vs. Yoshi G. I heard that was supposed to be a stage battle. Now they're battling one round. I don't know. Um, Emerson Kennedy vs. Mr. Mills and Bankhead vs. J400. Uh, I got Bankhead over 400, Emerson Kennedy over Mr. Mills, Yoshi G and them, debatable. Uh, Saya over Scotty, Loso over Snake Eyes, Clean, um, Chef Trez over Quantum, and Chef Trez over Heavy Half. Uh, Rosenberg versus Oops, debatable. Danny Myers versus Jay Murder, Danny. Uh, Sharon versus Street Hem, Sharon. Swave Seven versus Clean Paper. Mm, I'm leaning towards Clean Paper if he actually cares. Uh, Head Ice versus Show Off, Show Off. Uh, Big K versus Floss and Frost, Big K. And Ill Will versus Rex. I'm going with Ill Will. You know what I'm saying? That's just my, uh, my picks, my synopsis. You know what I'm saying? That's just my thoughts. You know? It is what it is. It's how I see it. Salute to ARP and what he's been able to do and what he's continuing to do. Salute to the, uh, I've seen his blogs, he puts his blogs out. And um, I definitely respect the fact that a league owner is still very much in touch with what's going on in the culture, very in touch with the, all of the moving objects and he watches all of these things and he's very analytical and he knows how to word things and put things in a very good perspective, especially with everything that's going on out here. And I think it's very, noble that he's continuing to try to find a way to put some bread in folks pockets you know what i'm saying battle rappers during this pandemic where you can see a lot of people you know what i'm saying are going through it you know what i'm saying it's almost now it's up to six million people that are unemployed you know what i mean so it's a lot of people that are definitely um in a trying time you know what i mean and um i will say this it, to have people like that who are still trying to you know put off a battle rap but then at the same time help people out and sh like that, I think that's um pretty dope. Like I said, he even asked me to do it, and I was like, you know, battle rap, I like to talk about battle rap, you know what I'm saying? I don't really engage in the battling, but I definitely appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, he's this is what he's doing. Um, and there's not a lot of people that's like that. A lot of people are looking out for themselves and just, you know, trying to eat as they can during this, you know? So, um. What I will say, salute to all of the subscribers out there, that notification gang. Um, salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Uh, you know, salute to all of the people out there doing their thing that's trying to come up, um, trying to blog and stuff like that. I will say this, because people ask me all the time, like, how do you get started? What do you do? You have to make an investment in yourself. And I think that investment comes with your presentation, how, what, how you look around you, you know what I'm saying? I got lights in here, I got a camera up here, I have a microphone, I have a laptop. I invested in, you know, different editing software so when I put stuff out, it looks a certain way. I paid for an intro so when it looks a certain way, you know what I mean? So you have to continue to try to build on something. Like you can't, like, I mean, you can just walk around and talk on your cell phone, but I mean, some people do that. They just walk around like this and they talk on their cell phone and blog like that. Now, while that is, it's, 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 it's acceptable, it's not going to stand out and it's not going to put you ahead of nobody else and you're not going to really grow that much nowadays. Now, if you were like one of the first people around, you know, you gotta, you, you're a legend. If you're legendary, you're legendary. You've been around from the beginning, that's one thing. But now, if you're definitely trying to break into this game and come into here, you're going to really need to perform at a high level because what separates you from the next person? If nothing's separate, you have to find your separating thing, you know what I'm saying, that's going to separate you from other folks, you know what I mean, and I think that if you do that, if you really believe in yourself, you'll invest in yourself. I will say this, everything that I've ever invested in has already paid itself back 10 times over. Just say that. Now, you're not going to, I wouldn't want you to try to wake up and be somebody else. Don't try to be me, try to be better, you know what I'm saying? People always say, I want to do what you don't do what I'm doing. Be better, aspire to do more, be bigger. If I got 50,000 subscribers, try to go get 100,000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying, and build yourself. And then you can put other people on, like the Showtime SPs. Now he's got his own movement. Now he's got his own sweater that people cop religiously. I don't even have my, my own sweater, but he has one. And I appreciate that. And I, and I did that on purpose to try to help him continue to brand himself. But he has his own YouTube channel. He does his own videos now. And I would hope that he continues that, you know what I'm saying? But we will always work together. He'll be back here in no time. But, uh, you know, 
I'm off my soapbox, so uh, salute to the subscribers at Notification Quarantine Gang. I'm out of here. Gang, 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 gang. Yeah, and I'm, a, I'm probably gonna drop this sweater right here soon too. I know, 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 I, know, I got you. Yeah, yeah, 15 minutes too. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we get out of here, man, I want to give a shout out to my man, OG Audio out the Bronx. Manifest something beautiful. Um, He sent me this freestyle. I'm going to throw Y'all niggas, bank falls, a flame torch type similar. Might you remember, y'all niggas gone by December. Wrapped in Persian rug, gang stuck, chromosome. Make this nigga cash as clear, lethal thug. 18 hammers blasting when they hit your team. Herbs can't prevent us when we clapping at your platinum Jeep. Nigga. I got the great new fall, you been born. All beef return, head gone, even your arms, the bomb. I plant bombs on your set as I yawn slow. Waiting for the shit to blow, as if you didn't know. Oh, Cause clips to go, let them blow, let nine slide down the earlobe Black and deadly like a brand new pistol Niggas screaming agony when I rip through their tissue The proper etiquette, when I pop, shots of burn when the metal hit It's a gangster nigga rhetoric Nigga, how you smoke weed, nigga? Well, we got it by the peas, nigga. This shit a breeze, nigga. I can do this shit with ease, nigga. Like, fuck you, mean, nigga. We got scopes, we got beams, nigga. Oh, that's your team, nigga. Well, I'm a team inside a team, nigga. Got a bunch of team, nigga, that do anything for the team, nigga. This life a dream, nigga. But I splatter a nigga dreams, nigga. This not a dream, nigga. Get down before I spill your beans, nigga. Yo, bitch, a fiend, nigga. Deep in her tummy, watch her cream, nigga. She hit them knees, nigga. Dick in her mouth, I'm about to ski in it. That's what she eat, nigga. Dick and balls, she a freak, nigga. She real petite, nigga. But that's your bitch, you can keep, nigga. I been a beast, nigga. In the field trying to sleep, nigga. So what you reap, nigga? You selling hammers? I need three, nigga. Supply the beast.